Okay, hey. So, this is Vintage Vega. I hope the lighting in here is good enough for you guys to see it. So, this is my setup. This is what you'll see in the main post. Uh, this is how I've set it up. This doesn't have to be how you set it up. You can set it up in any way you want. You can put any of these objects wherever you like on any of the screens that you like. I've got it set up. This is my home screen. I've got a shot clocks widget there. The calendar opens the calendar app. We've got the uh, the portrait here of me and my daughter opens the gallery app, which is the 32-bit gallery mod. The cash register opens the Android market. And we've got, there we go, the internet there on the globe. We've got a Simi widgets folder here. It's got Facebook and Twitter in it, but you can add as many things as you like. And then the toolbox is my settings. And then on my office screen to the left, we've got Aldeco, which is my book reader. Google Maps. My newsreader, which is Pulse. And the phone takes me to Skype. So, on all of the screens, the light switch on the right hand side opens the app drawer, which I've got set up to have a nice amount of icons on both sides. And then on the final screen, we've got my entertainment screen, which the radio will take me to my music. The games menu gives me a semi folder widget, which has got my games in it. The projector screen has got uh, YouTube and the BBC iPlayer, and these are my favourite games across the top, Angry Birds, Angry Birds Seasons, and uh, Dungeon Defenders. Just tapping on one of those will open the game. So you can have this set up in any way that you like. I've got it using uh, ADWEX, so if we launch the ADW settings, in UI settings and screen preferences, I've got desktop columns set to 6, I don't know if you can see that, and desktop rows set to 6 as well. Regular ADW should work fine on 6.6. Six. Uh, if you leave the number of rows the same but change the number of columns that should also work. Uh, as long as the rows are laid out right so that you can have your objects on the shelf at the bottom there. Um, if you go into ADW settings as well in UI settings in icons I've got new icons ticked uh, I haven't changed anything else in the new icon settings and in the UI settings uh, somewhere in here I have also got auto stretch you can see that auto stretch icons to fill the grid space if you turn that on it will make sure that your desktop visualizer icons fill the whole area that you selected them so, to add a new icon, I've, select, I've set up a blank screen here, so we can set something up. If you tap and hold on the screen and choose widgets, we'll choose a desktop, desktop visualizer widget 3x1. You can choose whatever size you want it to be, so I'll leave it on 3x1. And there's our widget there. We can drag that around the screen. There we go. Tap on it, select icon, image file choose wherever you've got the image on your Vega so I've got it in this folder here and we will use my games now select action with that you can use launch application so you can have it launch a single application if you want to just launch one thing I'm going to have it launch a semi folder widget so you select action other scroll down and choose semi folder Choose a semi folder that you've set up before, so I'll choose games. Clear the label because otherwise you'll have a label underneath the uh, icon which you don't want, so clear that. Change the touch effect from orange to non. You can leave it on orange or change it to whatever colour you want if you like, but I think it looks better with non. And then click OK. And there you go. You've got the icon there. Now, that's not meeting up with the shelf exactly, as you can see. So if you tap and hold on it, We'll choose edit, drag it across one, there we go, so it's extended it ever so slightly, makes it fill the area a little bit better, 
and now it's sitting right on the shelf. So a little bit of playing around and you'll have everything set up the way that you want. We'll just add another one quickly just to show that this is nice and quick once you get the hang of it. So we'll add a, a 4x4 and we'll just stick that on 3x3 for now. The larger you set the widget, the better quality you'll get because Desktop Visualizer shrinks the picture size down after you've selected it. So you make it really big and shrink it down and that will give you a better quality item. Oh, this one doesn't want to work. Okay, let's get rid of that quickly. Add a new one. Just use 3x3. There we go. So select icon, image file. And I will use the, and the worms icon. There we go. And we'll have that launch worms if I've got it installed. There we go. Clear. Non. OK. There we go. And then we can shrink that down a little bit to make it look a little bit neater. And then move it wherever we want. And there we go. And now that will launch worms. So it's really easy. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to put objects all over the screen. It's not difficult at all. I'm going to cut the video short because hopefully I don't want to swamp people with too much. And you can rewind and fast forward this as much as you want. But as you can see, everything works nice and quick. All the images are very high resolution. So you can start off big, make them a 4x4 and drop them down to whatever you want. You can obviously move things to below the shelf if you need to, for whatever reason, to move things around. Or if you stretch things, so if you want them more centralized, the globe at the moment is using only one. So it's using two, uh, two rows by one, one column. To centralize the, whoops, shrink that. To centralize the till, the way that I've done that is that is actually taking up uh, two by two. So I could shrink that down if I wanted to. So it's still the same size and it's still on the shelf, but it's actually only taking up one. I don't want it like that because I want it to be more centralized so I can edit it again by tapping, holding, and editing, and then stretching it out. And it centralizes it into the picture. So there we go, I'm not going to leave the video going too long, um, hopefully that's reasonably straightforward for you guys. Um, all the PST files are in the original post, so if you want to edit any of them and change them around yourself or if you need to move the shelf for any reason because you, you're using the big bar that comes with the Vega instead of the small bar, then you can do that. I'll look at the big bar issue soon and try and fix it myself. Okay, any questions post, uh, post them in the main thread and I'll try and answer them as quick as I can.